Yo, 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 it's Overflow. What's going on, you guys? How are you guys doing today? Bringing you a video where we're going to talk about the Black Ops 3 guns. The weapons in this game. I've been getting quite a few comments asking what's my favorite gun, what are the best guns, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys all the guns in Black Ops 3, and then I'm going to tell you my personal favorites, all right? So as you guys can see, I'm about to hit Prestige 2, and I have a good amount of guns unlocked, but I didn't unlock all of them. I really stuck to my favorites. So we're going to go ahead and cover the guns right now. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Tons of content coming your guys' way for Black Ops 3. I've been pumping out videos like a crazy person, man. It's been absolutely insane. My specialist ability is apparently making videos. So, yeah, drop a like if you enjoy the content. Let's get into it. We're going to go ahead and just run through the guns first. And then I'm going to go ahead and talk about the best ones. We got the CUDA. Full Auto, reminds me of the MP5, the VMP, super cool gun, really shoots pretty good, super fast, and moderate recoil, not bad, right? The Weevil, Full Auto Submachine Gun, pretty much reminds me of the P90 from, pa from back in the day, the Vesper, this is the highest fire rate in the class, also a good gun, but not the best in multiple enemy engagements, because obviously you run out of bullets super quick. The Pharaoh four round auto burst machine gun and normally those would be bad. This one is especially good, man. So it, it's awesome. The Razorback, the best gun from the beta. They made it a, re a really high unlock and you know, that's the SMG. Here we go. Assault Rifles KN44 changed the name from the ARC in the, uh, it was the AK. Uh, it's the AK variant in this game. It used to be the ARC 44, I believe. Now they changed the name to the KN44. The XR2, which is a three-round burst. The HVK, which has a very fast fire rate. The ICR1, which reminds me of the ACR. The Man O War, with is it's strong damage, slower fire rate, but it's overall a very good gun. The Shiva, which is the foul, you know, one-shot kill weapon, takes two shots or one to the head with the high with the high caliber uh, attachment. Then the M8A7, which is the typical four-round burst. I believe this is the only gun that I don't have unlocked yet. The shotguns, the KRM, which is the pump action shotgun of this game. Then we got the semi-automatic shotgun, the 205 Brecci, 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 Brecci. Haymaker 12, which is fully automatic machine gun, absolutely beautiful. It reminds me a lot of the AA-12 from uh, Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. The Argus, which is a lever action shotgun. It's kind of a mixture of the KSG and the Model 1887s. Really fun gun. This is probably one of my favorite weapons in the game. It's absolutely amazing. The light machine guns. We got the BRM light machine gun. The Dingo. The Gorgon. Which, so these ones are basically your typical, you know, light machine guns. This one has a faster fire rate and this one has, you know, a stronger damage. Then we got the Gorgon, which kills in two shots and it's fully automatic. It's, it's amazing, amazing gun. 48 Dredge. Six round auto burst machine gun. Each burst fires at a rapid fire rate. Then we got the sniper rifles. With the sniper rifles, we got the Draken, the Dracon, Draconius, Draconi, the Locust sniper rifle, which is basically this game's ballista, the P06, which is a charge burst. It shoots three shots. You got to hit three shots with this sniper to get a kill with it. It's uh, not the best, man. And then we got the SVG 100. Really reminds me a lot of the DSR 50 from Black Ops 2. And it's just as good, if not better, than the DSR 50. It's an amazing gun. Let's go ahead and do the secondary weapons real fast, and then we'll cover the best loadouts, in my opinion. We got the MR6, a strong pistol. I'm surprised that they don't have more pistols. Like, it kind of sucks that they only have three in this game. Hopefully, we get some DLC or something. We got the semi-auto auto pistol, strongest damage in the class. Very, very good. RK5, which is the three-round burst pistol. Reminds me a lot of the B23R from Black Ops 2. And then we got the L car. This is the full auto pistol. I'm going to go ahead and say this is the best one, I think. Just because full auto pistol, obviously you want that. Launchers XM53, shoot it at infantry, shoot it at score streaks, you get two rockets. Then this one has four rockets and you can only shoot it at score streaks. Best thing in the world. You want some free points, you throw this bad boy on. This should always be your secondary. Then we, for the special, we got the combat knife, which I have not unlocked yet in this prestige. But still pretty cool, pretty cool to have that combat knife. It kind of makes it special to have it in there. Let's go ahead and cover the best weapons from each class in my opinion. The CUDA, definitely top tier weapon, I think. Definitely one of the top tier weapons. Amazing gun. This is one of my favorites. The best gun in the submachine class, though, I believe, is the Pharaoh. It's four round auto burst, which means you hold it down, and even though it does burst, it automatically does it. So you don't have to tap it. You could just hold it down, and it will keep shooting, which is really, really super good. So 
Pharaoh is going to probably be my pick for the best SMG. Then we're going to go ahead over to Assault Rifles. Can 44 is amazing. The ICR is amazing. Uh, low damage, but really, really accurate. I think it's really, it's really super good. I've heard wonderful things about the M8. I've only used it a couple games, but it's super good from what I've heard. I personally think that the best gun in this class is the XR2. It's a three-round auto burst. Reminds me a lot of the M16. Kills in three shots. Three-round burst. Amazing gun. I would definitely recommend you using it. Shotguns. We got the KRM, which is pretty good pump action shotgun. Uh, the Brecci, the Haymaker, and the Argus. Out of all of these, I think the most reliable one is the KRM. As far as the shotguns are concerned, the Argus is pretty good. Hip fire sucks on it, though. I, I honestly think from everything that I've used, I think the most consistent killer is the KRM. Uh, the Haymaker is also really good as far as taking out enemies because it is fully auto shotgun. So it would be between those two, in my opinion. Live machine guns. Uh, the Gorgon, obviously the best one. The 48 Dredge is really good too, but I think the Gorgon is the best. It kills in two shots anywhere to the body. Amazing, amazing gun. If you see this online, run. Super good. Gorgon will be my pick there. Sniper Rifles. SVG for strength. If you want to be a straight douchey sniper, we're going to go with the Dracon. Best sniper rifle in the class. You can take out so many people with this gun. It's absolutely, it's hilarious, man. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they nerfed the crap out of this thing because it's so good, man. And those will be my picks. Those are all the guns in Black Ops 3, along with my picks for the best ones. Hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed my picks for the best guns in the game, and I hope you enjoyed me going through all of these guns. Definitely, definitely drop a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. If you made it to the end of the video, go ahead and say, that's fire, son, in the comment section below, so I know you made it to the end. I love you guys a ton. I'm going to play some Black Ops 3. I'll see you later. I am over it. And out.